this evening the time is fast spent but we have another amazing speaker I will give him just a simple introduction today he is my brother from the same village but he is not the only person from my village but there is a reason why I am proud to say he is my brother from the same village simply because he is a success that's, that's just it there are very many failed people from my village I will not even say I know but I am proud to be associated with Dr. Apoki and to say that we are from the same village we have we have his profile but for the want of time please rise to your feet this evening and do me the honors to receive a brother a father a friend Dr. Charles Apoki Praise the Lord. Please, can you stretch your right hand in my direction? Join your faith with mine and say, Lord Jesus, anoint your servant to preach your word with simplicity, with soundness of doctrine. Holy Spirit, circumcise my ears and fertilize my heart. That the words I will hear will produce tangible results. I will come back with testimonies and testimonials. Help me to put into practice the things I will hear. If you believe me, say amen. Please be seated. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so delighted to see my bishop and his beautiful wife. Um, Pastor Laurie, I'm so excited that you gave a very wonderful message. My brother Albert Sago, I'm so happy you gave a wonderful message. The choir, you are world class. The conductor, you are exceptional. And my brother that gave that powerful rendition. Church of God mission is loaded. We are not international by incorporation. We are international by performance. And I'm so glad I'm part of this great family. When I saw Bishop Feb climbing up with his wife, I was just thinking of my son and his wife. You know, my son is married to a white lady. And I was just admiring them. Praise the Lord. I want to speak on the subject... I'm going to be crazy these two days. I'm not going to be normal. So get, get, and I'm not normal. I'm going to be crazy. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be extra crazy. If they arrest me from here, I am gone. Don't worry. Eh? Praise the Lord. I'm going to speak to you and your children. Then tomorrow, I will speak to you concerning this nation and your future. I have the responsibility to speak on youth empowerment and nation building vis-a-vis -vis transcending. So I'm going to talk about, talk about youth empowerment, then tomorrow I'm going to talk about youth and nation building. We have concentrated so much on anointing for healing, concentrated so much on anointing for expository discussions of the Bible. We have concentrated so much on falling under anointing. We have hardly concentrated on becoming an outstanding country. No matter your anointing, any nation you go to as a Nigerian, you are first treated with suspicion until you prove them wrong. Nobody will take you seriously until you shock the person particularly if you're a black man. I will encourage you to visit my YouTube channel and subscribe there, Dr. Charles Apoki, and visit my blog. This message is in details there, Dr. Apoki's blog. 
and you can go to the e-book shop, petrapublications.com, and you get the materials there. What is it to transcend? To transcend is to go beyond the range. The range is to go beyond expectation. It's to go beyond limits. It is to exceed. It is to outdo. It is to surpass. In Genesis chapter 41 verse 27, when Joseph was brought out of prison as a foreigner, he gave an analysis of the dream of Pharaoh and gave an economic blueprint for Pharaoh to work on. And Pharaoh said, since we can find in no one else in whom the spirit of God dwells, we will make you in charge of Egypt. He was 30 years old. 30 years old in Egypt. Now, it was the spirit of God that gave him wisdom to become the prime minister at the age of 30. If you transcend your generation in business or in the political space, you become outstanding. You become outstanding. You can, be, you can exist and be visible without being outstanding. For you to be outstanding, if your mates are sleeping, wake up. If your mates wake up, sit up. If your mates sit up, stand up. If your mates stand up, stand out. If your mates stand out, become outstanding. I come from a family that worships the idol in my community. Where I come from, my family also has a big idol. But ancestral causes don't worry me. I chose to become an ancestral blessing. You might think you are young now. 50 years from here, 70 years from here, you will become ancestors. If you are not astounding, your children will pray against you. Empowerment is giving authority to function in a certain capacity. If you are less than a people, you don't have authority to rule over them. It is also impute to enable you function beyond normalcy. What is national development? National development or nation building is a deliberate act towards improving the living standards of the people. My, my daughter-in-law brought a grand, gave birth to a grandson in Europe. When uh, she, was, she just went to her church to pray, and she saw fluid. She called an ambulance in the church. An ambulance came and carried her, took her to the biggest maternity in that country, and she stayed there for 10 days. She will send the pictures of the food she was eating. They are better than the ones I'm eating as a big man here. And the GDP of that country is half that of Nigeria, half. And when she delivered, they didn't pay any bills. Their insurance and government paid, and they got home. That child, at the age of one month now, is earning an income of 60,000 naira a month. That is a graduate salary. He will go to university free from cradle to PhD level. At the age of 18, he's free to travel around the country free. When they, took, when they went for his birth certificate, they said, write nationality. I was not there. But my son wrote that nation as the nationality of the child. If to say, write Nigeria, I eh, for Karata. Yeah, push, push, push. Mumu. We will look at the building blocks or the pillars of national development. Youths are the builders of nations. I wrote in a blog about those who built America, and one lousy person commented that they were old men that wrote the declaration. I went to cross check, they were young people. It's only in Nigeria that people, Emiloko, Emiloko. 
Lagi de shake, honey de shake, Emilo Kon. For us to have an outstanding nation, we need to raise youths who are outstanding to rule this country. In our removed motion for the independence of Nigeria at the age of 27, J.J. Spiff became governor of River State at the age of 25. Gowon became president at the age of 35. And some of us are growing beards on empty heads. For you, you can't do me anything. Don't look at me like that. For you to be an outstanding youth, it is deliberate. Somebody was asking me, how is it that my children, I was able to position them well. It was deliberate. I, insult should lead to insight. Poverty taught me that I should not hand over poverty to my children. I should ameliorate the, rest, the, 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 the lack I experienced when I was young. And for us to build this nation, we should deliberately raise youths. Number one, Dangote was a deliberate creation. His father, Pahal Hassan Dantata, said that I want to transfer the craft of wealth making into Aliko. Aliko means Alexander. It means conqueror of humanity. And he deliberately said to his daughter that you will not marry your husband in his house. He's a polygamous man. You will marry my, the, the husband will marry you in my house. And so at Dangote, at the age of 20, he was deliberately sent to Musa um, Dantata to live with. And so he was hobnobbing with Yaradua, uh, Danjuma, and the rest people. And he became a millionaire at a very young age. You deliberately create children sometimes to be, to be, to be outstanding. So, Serena Williams and Venus Williams, their father Richard, looked at the two of them at the age of four and said, I will create the future Wimbledon champions from these children. And they became Wimbledon champions. Two of them played against themselves. And Serena is about to retire now. Her net worth is about $350 million from her businesses. And so, when you have people who are financially buoyant, the nation becomes wealthy. Nations do not become wealthy through prayer and fasting. If not, Africa will be the richest continent. You are, you are, we are right. I've never seen a rich prayer warrior. Neither have I seen a rich deliverance minister. All of them have one health issue or the other. What are you quarreling with demons for when there are diamonds to look for? So, for you to be outstanding, be deliberate about everything in life. Number two, you must have a dream life. Have a dream life. Your dreams can either be implanted in you by your parents or implanted in you by yourself or implanted in you by your mentor. Joseph Trudeau, I mean Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, was with his father. And Richard Nixon saw him and said, Behold the future Prime Minister. Behold the future Prime Minister. My son, my father told me in primary four in the models, I will become a medical doctor. I also knew that if I start impregnating the mind of my son with being a medical doctor, he will become one. So I will, took him, I will take him into the theater. I will write professor on his palm. Today, he's an orthopedic surgeon in Germany. If you read my book, Hold On To Your Vision, I said there that I operated on black people but my son is going to operate in the global arena. At the age of 23, 24, I had decided that I will have a global family. 
I, I decided I would have a global family. And so, anytime I saw Osazia Odewige playing, I always imagine I would have a grandchild that looked like Osazia Odewige. And I was telling people, this life, until you are deliberate about life, life will offer you anything. And there is something called panpsychism. Panpsychism is the philosophy that everything has ears and has a mind of the, their own. That was how God was able to create the world. Let there be light. And light came out of darkness. Light used to be inside darkness, but once God separated them, they never became the same again. And so, God spoke to the, Jesus spoke to the wind, and the wind ceased. Um, Ezekiel prophesied to the bones, say, hear ye, ye bones. Moses was supposed to do shakara by speaking to the rock, and then the rock will bring water. Your thoughts has, they have energy. Your speech has energy. And you can deliberately, you see the problem with Nigeria is that we have had very many semi-illiterate presidents that cannot communicate. When, when professors become vice presidents to idiots, your nation cannot progress. Unam Dia Zikewe and Tafawa Belewa, who was more outstanding? Unam Dia Zikewe schooled in the US. Shagari and Ekweme, who was more outstanding? Shagari had eight degrees. Um, only good luck, Jonathan. Then this man, your. I know, I know call person name if you had an Ayusabi. I know Shiba and Joe, who is more educated. When we have presidents, when you ask them questions during interview, they will be confused and they will confuse the journalists. The nation will end up being confused. The time has come in this country where we must call a spade a spade. Where we must say this nation in the United States, the average Nigerian family has more graduates per family than a white family in the United States. We are the most brilliant people on earth. Who cannot be ruled by stupid people. For you to be outstanding, there must be dedication to learning, like as he said, an acquisition of relevant knowledge, acquisition of skills. I hope I will be able to teach you the businesses about businesses of tomorrow. America is built by youths. Mark Zuckerberg. When Steve Jobs was put up for ad, uh, adoption um, and uh, Clara Jobs took over the baby, the mother told them, he said, give him good education. Do you know Steve Jobs' father is a professor too, but he's a Syrian and he's still alive. So most of the projects you see in America, most of the products you see in America were started by young people. Colonel Sanders, I agree, Kentucky Fried Chicken. But that is an exception. Don't make the exception the norm, as you said. So, very early in life, start acquiring skills. Today, I, I do a broadcast online to a country overseas for 15 minutes. They pay me 200,000. Why? I was discussing with somebody from uh, Grenada yesterday. Immediately she said she was, you know, the problem with the average person that is not in Nigeria, they think we are idiots. They think we look like our president. And this narrative must change. You must come out and prove them wrong. Say you're from, I asked her, are you from Grenada? She said yes. I said your pre, Bishop Morris was your president. She said yes. I knew her president from a mud house in Okere because I was reading magazines and reading the Guinness Book of Records as a novel. I met a white guy in Otopina Airport in, in uh, Bucharest. I was preaching to him. He said um, he was going to Spain to commit sin. Then I asked him, I started preaching to him. Then he said he doesn't believe in God. He had tattoos all over his body. Then he asked me, have you heard about um, evolution? I told him, my friend, look at me very well. Your skin is whiter than my skin, but my brain is whiter than your brain. I told him that, have you heard of Lamarckism? 
In Onwam. Have you heard of dematerialization and rematerialization? In Onwam. Listen to me. Listen to me. Lo, 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 lo. Lo, 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 lo. Buga, oh. Lo, 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 lo. Lo, 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 lo. Buga, oh. If you lo, lo, lo and buga with an empty brain, you will have hunchback. You lo, 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 lo with an empty brain, you will have hunchback. When I think so, I don't know what you know. No. Nations are intentionally created. The Declaration of Independence or the American Declaration was a dream. We don't act out our national anthem. You see, if you don't have dreams for the future, you can't be outstanding. The way I am living now was what I decided at 23. I will not practice medicine beyond 40. I will be an international citizen. I will have children all over the world. I will live in a big house. I won't have tenants. Are you following what I'm saying? I will go to work when I want to go to work. I decided it when I was young and I started walking towards it. There was one thing uh, Pastor Laurie said, if you define your purpose, your choices are easy to make. You are easy, it is easy for you to eliminate those things that are not there. So, dreams. Plant dreams in the mind of the youths. Plant dreams in the minds of your children. Um, somebody came to Indonesia, okay, Indonesia, there was in Indonesia, a class teacher asked, who wants to be president? One black boy raised up his fingers with ears proportionately bigger than his head, like satellite dish. That boy said he wants to be president. He returned to Indonesia as the 44th president of the United States. His name is Barack Obama. So if you are here, your ambition is to be SSA to somebody with school certificates. You are a glorified thug. If your ambition is to carry ballot boxes in the next election, you are, a witch, you are a wizard. You are part of the people responsible for the problems of Nigeria. The children of the politicians and my children are schooling overseas. You are not in school. School will resume and you can carry ballot boxes because you don't have a dream for yourself. The day you will know that you are a stupid human being is the day you will go and propose to the, to the daughter of a politician you have been carrying ballot boxes for. And they will reject you. They will use you to carry ballot boxes, but swearing in ceremony, you will be pushing people away. They will come to the podium with their children. Which day you will reach your turn? Have a dream life, it is possible. Dubai was a deliberate creation. The grandfather of the present ruler used to share the dream of Dubai with him. So, you need to create dreams for yourself or have a mentor, have parents that can create dreams for you. The next thing is that you must detest the status quo. Detest the status quo. Nigerian youths are addicted to suffering and pain. We are suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome is when a rapist kidnaps a girl. After some time, the girl falls in love with the rapist. You are in a nation, you are in a nation where somebody can steal 100 and something billion. And they won't do anything to him. If you spend 30,000 naira every day, it will take you 300 years to get a billion, to, to finish a billion. And you are here, when I see your generation hailing fossils, you know fossils? Some of these politicians are fossils. A fossil is a dead plant or dead animal that has been, that has been preserved in a rock or depo, um, um, swamp deposit. Some of the people you are relating with and you are hailing are either supposed to be in prison or in the mortuary. But you will be dancing and supporting somebody who made your father to be poor. 
If you fall down here and collapse, an ambulance will not carry you. My grandson, my grandson had gripes. Gripes. They called ambulance. Ambulance came. Listen to me. A European cow gets $2.5 every day as subsidy. But your health budget for a year is $8 per year. A European cow is more important than you. And you are doing bugao, monkey. You don't get sense. You guys are not angry enough. I'm not supposed to be doing this. I have fought my own fights. But I'm doing this because of my grandchildren. I'm doing this because of the future of this nation. I want to enjoy old age. I want to have regular electricity. I have it in my house already, but I'm doing it because of you. And if you are not ready to take up the challenge of changing this nation, then woe betide you if you see anything. Take it. Detest the status quo. Mary Slessor detested killing of twins. That's why she left Scotland and came to Nigeria to stop killing of twins. She was not a CC. She did not show breast and buttocks. Breast and buttocks have expiring dates. Vision has no expiring date. It is not enough to pin your nose. It does not give you inspiration. I saw one girl with ring here, ring here. I asked her, this ring, they help you breathe better. Before a man sees you, he sees your breast. They say you are sexy. Do you know the meaning of being sexy? That you are a vital form mattress. Sister Teresa Mary, Sister Teresa Mary detested the poverty in India. What do you hate in this country? What do you hate in this country? If you are to be outstanding, set out to solve it. What do you hate in your family? Illiteracy was a problem in my family. Poverty was a problem in my family. Sexual irresponsibility was a problem in my family. I made up my mind, I will stop it. I will stop it. I was a very rough boy till I got born again. I was badly bad. I was so tough. I was so tough. I didn't become a cultist because only me was a cult. I did not smoke Igbo because my crow crow eye is more than Igbo. I could sleep with three girls a day. But when I got born again, I made up my mind, enough is enough. I will not follow the road of my father. I will not follow the road of my uncle who had 20 children. I will not follow the road of my cousins. Since I got married, I keep saying this. I've been married for 37 years. I've seen the most beautiful women on earth. I get tempted because all gone see they kill person. But I have never told another woman, I love you. I wanted to show you the love letters I wrote to my wife when I was 23. Everything I wrote, go to my blog, go to Dr. Pokey's blog, love letters to my future wife. Everything I told her about how I wanted her to be and how I was going to be is what has come to pass. Young man, you are not a seismographer. What is seismography? Seismography, you put a rod into the earth, then you shoot something. Stop shooting into holes that will not produce oil. <laughs> Young girl. <laughs> this boy, be like, say you're anointing, don't enter my body. <laughs> Young girl, you're not a welder. Don't be going to the front of people's gates to take picture with your buttocks. for us for us to be unnecessarily excited we are too happy in Nigeria with stupidity 
The first thing, the next thing is definition and focus. Bishop Feb, sorry sir, Bishop Feb has not desired to be like Papa Idaosak. He did not want to wear his shoes. He created his own shoes and defined himself. Am I talking to somebody? I came to preach with a young man the last time I came. The young man left after seeing you. He went and abused the children of a bishop. That you people are stupid. Come and see Idaosa's son. I looked through his profile and the degrees he has gotten, the trainings. He is qualified to manage every sector of this mission. Because he defined himself and prepared for it. Preparation creates platform. If you are not prepared, listen to me, nobody will favor you without good performance. Many of you are not employable. I run two schools and I employ graduates. Somebody came for interview. He wrote an application to teach um, agricultural science. On the headline of the interview, agricultural science was small a. As he was writing, I was small letter. I attended, small letter. He did not iron his shirt. Then I asked him, how old are you? He said, it is there now. I, I drove him out. As I drove him out, I discovered he didn't come with belt. Maybe he was a Malian. Church can tolerate you, but the society will not tolerate you. The society has appetite. When King Nebuchadnezzar wanted to build his nation, he requested for youths of character, quality, learning, and capacity. Even in the choice of Rebecca as wife for Isaac, capacity determined. Sex becomes boring when you reach my age bracket. You've gone to Jerusalem so many times. You've passed that road so many times. You know everything about that place. And when you reach this age bracket, the engine no more works. Sometimes you have to turn it and turn it and anoint it with oil before the thing will work. But your brain and the content of your mind and your knowledge and your relevance will keep you going in this society, in any society. Go for things that will endure, not things you will enjoy. And this nation needs youths who are ready to be focused. Focused on developing themselves. Not just imitating people who are not heading anywhere. Music can be entertaining. Um, Kid Kiss can be entertaining. Two-Face Idibia keeps impregnating women. It can be entertaining. But it's not a model good enough for national development. The next thing he said, dare to start. I started by teaching Sunday school in the Church of God Mission. I started by mentoring youths. Today, I'm mentoring youths all over the country. I'm mentoring youths all over the world. Today, I started by running the Church of God Mission School. And it became the second rich, I became richer than the church in two years. And one of the 50 best schools in the country. What I did at Aba early is what is giving me wealth today. I found that the, the educational sector is one place where I can mold the lives of children. And so I'm building, I built two schools, I'm building a polytechnic, and it will turn to a university, but I will build a teaching hospital. Because I have four medical doctors in the family, including me. Two daughters-in-law that will be medical doctors plus myself. And so I'm going to build a teaching hospital. If every youth in this country can light their candles in the little spaces where they occupy, the darkness will disappear. You don't need to win elections. Listen, somebody called me. That man gave me a helix recently. I manage properties that run into more than a hundred million for him. He has given me lots of money. He called me. I want to sponsor you to be the Labour Party gubernatorial candidate in Delta State. I told him, I don't have that energy now. There are younger people who can run that race. That being leadership is not by electoral office. Leadership is being a model. When you become outstanding, people copy from you. 
When you become astounding, you become the reference point. When you become astounding, when you want to crystallize salt from a solution, you put a salt crystal into it, and that crystal attracts. Listen, why is it that it is the cultists that are attracting people? Why is it that it is Togri that is attracting people? Why is it that it is Shisha that is attracting people? Why is it that it is uh, Colorado that is attracting people? Why is it that it is Kong that is attracting people? It is because Christian youths do not have what it takes to be influential and be outstanding. We have not become models enough for people to copy us and want to associate with us. In fact, we are too timid, too not script that somebody does not pay attention to us. In fact, a, 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 a church that a country can do without has lost relevance. We need anointing to become Ben Casey in this country. We need anointing to be political, inter I mean, interpreters of economic policies. It's not only anointing to preach. Preaching, we have, we've had enough preachers in Nigeria. If it is preaching and all night and prayer and exposition, Nigeria will be a world power. But like as our pastor rightly said, on this earth there are principles that govern. You can't use illiteracy and stupidity to convince a man to Christ who is richer than you. You will go and beg him. We must, we, must, we must reach a level in this country, and it is now, that our youths will desire to say anywhere I go to. Uh, Bishop Fed, you don't know what happened to me. Papa was conducting a crusade at Abba, and after three days, two days he left. On the last day, I was standing as an usher, and I was conducting people into the audience. They will ask me, Papa Onoya, as all our go, that he has gone. And they will look at me, doctor, and hiss and go away. <laughs> and he had prayed for me the previous day that I have gone around this world three times. And I'm looking for professionals who will preach this message not for belly's sake, but preach it for the sake of the kingdom. And I was among those who were serving him food. So he called three people. I was not there. I was standing outside. He called Aihie. He called Ijonye. He called Eke Eleanyonuma. He said, come, let me pray for you. I was not part of the, the crew, but I added myself. And he prayed. He said, I leave the work in the east for you. I just came from Abba. But I was still docile in church. Then I told myself, if Papa no day, so person no go fit preach. And I started singing in my house and praying in my house and fasting. Here am I, use me. Here am I, use me. Until one time, when I hold my family members to pray with them, they are slain in the spirit. When I pray for my patients, both nurses and patients will fall down. People started getting healed through prayer. It was because I saw a model. I desired to be a model too. And I did not rest on the prayer. I took a step. Dare to take a step. It's not enough to get excited here. Great messages don't make great people. It is great decisions that make great people. For you to transcend your generation, when your generation is indecisive, take a decision. Take the first step. The Red Sea will divide. Don't look at your challenges. Look at your potentials. Don't look at who is against you. Look at the God that is for you. Dare to start. You must be disciplined. You must be directed. And you must be defined. I've been talking about D, 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 D. Disciplined. Disciplined. This generation, can you handle money on behalf of somebody? Can you handle an office? Bishop Feb, you amaze me. Oh. Service 6.30. Six, they came to carry me from the hotel. He was there before me. He did not stroll down and the son. The reason poor rich men's children become poor is that they celebrate successes without knowing the principles, processes, and the pattern. Don't criticize the excellent people. Don't, black man, you are so stupid. If somebody is doing well, you say that juju they use. Juju and Holy Ghost, which one better pass? Which one get power pass? I was asking in one of my videos, you will see a pastor wants to cast out demon. Ah, fire! Ah, ah. 
When native doctor wants to kill you, does he shout? When witch wants to worry you, does he shout? Why are you shouting for common demon? If a policewoman wants to stop a trailer in Ikoba Slope, does she hold the trailer? She just raises her hand. She knows who she is. Knows her authority. When demons see you, they don't see you. They see Jesus Christ. You must know who you are. Am I talking to somebody? The African church is an escapist church. You want to run from here and go to heaven and walk on the streets of gold when your roads are very bad. You will be confused. The African church is an escapist church, a refugee church. It won't be long. We will be going home. Can be weeks and days. Any day now, you're not going to die yet. You will be here. If you want to go, enter front of trailer. But let me shock you. If the rapture takes place, after three and a half years, we are coming here. We are not going to America. Every man will return to his own inheritance. Save on our life. We are going to stay in Nigeria for 1,000 years with suffering. We better make it well now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to talk about discipline and talent. Discipline and talent. Talent pays more than education. Mike Tyson made $300 million from fighting with somebody he did not quarrel with in a square called a ring with one irresponsible man with bow tie encouraging them to fight. But Mike Tyson ended up being broke. May Floyd Mayweather is a boxer in the United States. He has made so much money, but he keeps buying blink blink, expensive wristwatches, expensive cars. Manny Pacquiao, the same weight that fought with Mayweather, he started investing his money in building housing estates for his people in the Philippines. And he's now a senator. He contested elections. Young men, even this Yahoo Yahoo you are doing, you are so stupid. If you do Yahoo Yahoo, you will end up always buying from entrepreneurs. You will buy the car from entrepreneur. You will buy the, the phone from entrepreneur. You will sleep in an entrepreneur's hotel. You will buy furniture from an entrepreneur. You will send your children to my school and I will charge you school fees. All the money, you say it is because Europeans carried us to slavery. That's why you are bringing money back. When the Europeans carried us to slavery, they used us to build their economy. Are you building any economy? Oh, you are getting accidents and dying every day. Unamumu too much. Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane. The footballer from Senegal. A Muslim. is wise. Do you know that Sadio Mane, his phone is cracked. But he's building for his nation. He said he cannot afford to buy an expensive phone when he comes from a poor country. Same thing with uh, Didier Drogba. Didier Drogba, with his talent, he unified uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Didier Drogba is sponsoring projects in Cote d'Ivoire. Why is it that our musicians and our footballers and our talented people in this country is only conspicuous consumption? We take the words. Europe and America, or let's say Europe, they devastated us. But we are deliberately devastating ourselves. Even our politicians need to be brought to me. Let me slap them. You will steal money from here. You will go and buy a house in Europe. No European is coming to buy a house in Nigeria. Are you people crazy? And you, you are not saying anything. And you are celebrating them. The time has come. When we need to raise the bar in this country, that is why I am obedient. A man that can manage two shoes can manage the economy. A man that is disciplined. I saw him. He packaged his own food. A former governor packaged his own food. Put in his car. 
He said, I have five burials today. I don't eat until one o'clock. His father was a rich man. You, your father is a poor man. You are spraying money in parties. You get sense? You don't get sense. You dirty, you dirty hook-up girl. You are using an iPhone of 700,000. And your mother is living in a room and parlor. You not be juju be that. Not be juju be that. Okay. D number, I don't know now. Devotion. This one thing I do. Jimmy Carter was a Sunday school teacher in the United States of America in a Baptist church. And when he won the elections, they never knew he would come and teach his Sunday school. And the American president, the, the pastor of the church, was saying, Will Jimmy come and teach his class? And Jimmy Carter, at the time he was to teach his church, they saw the secret service jogging alongside a limousine that brought him to church. He said, As I was teaching before I was elected. Jimmy Carter still teaches his Sunday school. People drive and travel from all over the world to attend Sunday school in Jimmy Carter's class. Jimmy Carter has been devoted to building humanity, building houses. Recently, he had cancer of the brain. They went there and did a scan and saw cancer of the brain. Jimmy Carter said, there's still much to do. He came back for another scan. Cancer has disappeared. Because if you have something to do for God tomorrow, God will not allow the devil to kill you today. Yeah. William Taylor in his book, 1786, Gaining Favor with God and Man, said that, he said that the devil tempts every person, but the vacant mind tempts the devil. If your mind is vacant, you will tempt the devil. The next thing is diligence. Pay attention to details. Go the extra mile. I have read this message up to 10 times. I read it. I wrote it. I preached it in 2018. I've read it up to 10 times. I was reading it here. You can't live casually and expect to excel. You will end up as a casualty. Finally, avoid over dilution. Over dilution. He said, when salt loses its saltiness, how does salt lose its saltiness? It's when you take a small proportion of salt and put in a large volume of water. When you indulge in too many things, like as he said, you go to the university, you are going to be papa in the university. You are going to be mama in the university. You are going to cook for a boy in his house when you are not yet married to him. Somebody that somebody is feeding is your husband. Are you not a fool? In a medical school around here, a Christian boy had the highest grade, but he started doing fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. A Muslim boy overtook him and won all the prizes. There is a time for everything, ministry, not a run. I started ministry at 40, and I am overtaking. Don't overdilute yourself. You are dating a sugar daddy. You are doing this. You are doing that. At the same time, with your small brain, with two and a half credits. When your resources are spread stupidly on things that will not benefit you, and your energies are spread stupidly on things that will not benefit humanity, you will not make any impact. Your father is a security guard and you are wearing bone straight. Your life will be straight. I don't distract myself. I don't attend unnecessary meetings. I don't buy things I don't budget for. I don't spend my time and money on what will not take me to where I'm going to. That's why I'm not a deliverance minister. I'll be doing the interview with demons. When I can write a chapter of a book, when I can make a post, I would, am I talking to somebody? Concentrate yourself. It is better to enter a small teacup than to enter a jug of tea and lose sweetness. Look for that small area. Concentrate. 
Do it very well. Suffocate that place. Excel. And you will do well in life. And people will notice you. And they will start asking you, who is your God? I'm so happy to speak to you this evening. Remember, I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Aboki. I, I told you something yesterday that in this conference we will give Wahala a problem. Wahala never see problem. Oh. When Wahala see problem, he go pack. One thing for me is that why bother yourself chasing demons when they are diamonds to desire? Tomorrow is August 12th, and it's International Youth Day. It's International Youth Day tomorrow, August 12th. And 8 o'clock tomorrow, we'll be having the part two of Dr. Charles Apoki. So it's a service not to miss, not to miss, not to miss. I want to thank you for staying back, and I want to appreciate, can we just appreciate Bishop Feb and his dear wife, and Dr. Charles Apoki, <laughs> Reverend Kenneth Osas of Barry Siagma as well, thank you very much. Can we celebrate them as they take their leave? Thank you. Is all right. Do we have any announcements from the programs? Thank you. Let me help you. 